I thought jellyfish only lived in the ocean and was surprised to learn that freshwater jellyfish from China's Yangtze River have recently been discovered on every continent in the world except Antarctica. These jellyfish are in a pond in Brighton, Michigan. When new species show up in our local environments, we call them invasive or alien, and we try to eradicate them. But Chris Thomas, author of the book Inheritors of Earth, says there might be a different way to look at this. We've been finding jellyfish uh, in our freshwater environments around Michigan. Clearly, this is a big change, ecologically speaking. Is change synonymous with bad? No, not at all, in fact because we all recognize that the world is changing very rapidly at the moment. And that is how the biological world responds, is that some species are more successful, others are less successful. Many of the species that exist on the Earth today have arisen because they have become geographically separated from their ancestors for long enough that they no longer exchanging genes with one another, separate, become more and more different until eventually you start to think of them as different species. Humans move species around the planet as stowaways and cargo or intentionally through the international pet and plant trade. This has changed ecosystems all over the world. Before humans, the movement of species to new environments happened much slower and is the reason we have much of the biodiversity we do today. They're about every 10 feet or so on the bottom of the pond. They look so delicate. They have stingers, but they're too small to get through human skin. They eat microorganisms on the bottom of the pond. You almost can't even feel them. They're like the same consistency as the water they're in. Invasion, extinction, and change are all natural events that have helped produce the diversity of life on Earth. However, they've all been accelerated by human activity. We start with blaming people or where they shouldn't have introduced them, and then we quite soon shift the blame onto the species rather quickly, which is not really very constructive. The species is just doing what it's doing. It's being successful in places where the environment is suitable for it. The ecological communities that you see around you today are constructed of species that by and large moved into that location um, between about nine and 12,000 years ago. They're not long standing, it's always been like that, and it's the correct set of species we've got today. The environment's changing now, and correspondingly, the sets of species are also changing. If you're concerned about the drivers of environmental change, whether that be climate change or something else, then address the underlying background problem, not don't react with horror to the responses of the biological system to those changes.